Okay, what's up everybody? This is Justin here, here to review Garo um, Zero Black Blood. So yes, now given his short series, Ray or Zero the Silver Knight, now faces his greatest challenge yet. A super whore named Ring. The leader of a community whose purpose is coexistence between humans and horrors. But obviously, Ray doesn't buy into any of that. Helping Ray against his new enemies are um, two Makai priests named Kain and Yuna. But Yuna, the daughter of a fallen Makai knight, chooses not to use her abilities as a priestess and instead fights with her father's Makai sword by putting his bones into her own hands. Um, initially, they will have trouble working together, but in time, they get to know each other and you learn more about the new cast so you can care more about them and then, you know, they become a team. Anyway, just like how Soul Kokomario was used as a means to complete Koga in reaffirming everybody's understanding on what it means to be a Makai Knight, Black Blood also serves that purpose for Rei. Ring is demonstrated throughout the duration of the series to be a very powerful villain, and he makes short work of our heroes. Ring is played by a foreign actor, um, some guy from America, I think, and it is strange every time Ring uses English, Rei, for some reason, will um, speak back to him in French when they ever converse. Maybe it's because to Japanese people, all non-Asians look alike, like how to um, some non-Asians, all Asians look alike. I don't know. But outside of that, some elements of Japanese horror is still utilized, and I thought that was really cool. Like I always do. What I always loved about Garo is it takes these elements and it combines it with Tokusatsu really awesomely. But Rei doesn't give up after getting his ass kicked, and um, you know he just prepares for this challenge the old-fashioned way. Train harder than ever before, but if I were to give any spoilers, don't expect the training sequences to be as intense as the Rocky series. But, especially when he has to fight Mr. T the second time. But you also kind of get a feel of how, um, in both positive and negative ways, in which Koga has been a great influence on Rei. Other than just Rei training hard to be Ring, he is also given no f um, further development, and that's not really a bad thing since, like Koga, everything about him is pretty much developed, but just needs one journey to test his limits to show that he really has no limits in context to giving up his life as a Makai Knight and what it means to just live that kind of life. Um, the series does a great job of demonstrating how Rei takes his duties very seriously, but he does serve as a means to develop Yuna, who has a very personal vendetta against Ring, and he does a great job of helping her. Plus, the second season I felt really explored how far Rei is willing to do his job. So, like I said, there is no individual development of Ray since he's kind of always, he's already fully developed, but he still has his use and he still has his contributions, and that's kind of made up through other characters. Ray still shows more of a sense of humor than Koga and tends to throw one liners as demonstrated in the show, but he also shows some of Koga's antisocial tendencies as well, and for good reasons. Um, you also see more of Ray's support groups such as his watchdog um, support, which who provides him his orders. It is a very distinct environment, and his watchdog supervisor is a very interesting character who is very supportive and does a good job of making sure that Ray is in line with his discipline. Um, but for a six-episode series, the pacing, is, the pacing is even, and it flows pretty well, which I give an 8 out of 10. The majority of the action, especially with Ray, will be without his armor. The fights in the last half will show the craftiness this series is known for. However, the choreographer in the fight scenes is a different person. Unfortunately, I can't remember the guy who does the fight scenes for this movie, but in the um, TV series, it's just some guy named Yokoyama, um, the choreographer in the other installments. The fights feel a bit more grounded, and the camera angles are more close up, but you still get a feel for everything, and, and it's still very easy to follow. Um, the setups for the transformation sequence used are pretty cool for Ray and found new ways to flow with some of the action sequences. Kind may have... Um, come across as an idiot at times, but he knows how to hold his own in a fight to the point that, hey, maybe if you were fighting horrors, just maybe you want this guy to back you up. And he may not have Ray's speed and agility, but he has a different sense of punching power. And Rain, um, Rain is like the ultimate um, bad boss, and we are talking SNK level here if you know what I'm talking about. That's how tough he is. But being the token Gaijin, he does bring a distinct charm to the series, and his abilities are very in tune with a good combination of 2D and 3D fighting bosses. And for that, I give the action a 9 out of 10. And Rei Fujita, who is also active as a singer, actually sings the ending themes. Um, it is more heavy 
rock with this with his presence and still has a dark intensity that suits the mood of the franchise. If you're familiar with the series, then you already have a feel of the music, which I feel I don't need to get into, but if you've already watched my other reviews of Garo, then, you know, feel free to do that, but if you haven't, please do so. Um, so I still give the music a 10 out of 10. And overall, even though this was released as a six-episode series, and it was also released as two movies, where three episodes were one and three episodes were another, I chose to watch it in movie form. I really enjoyed watching Zero on the big screen, since he's my favorite character. I say fans of the character such as myself will really enjoy this and will be satisfied with his character finally showing he has come full circle, for which I give an overall score of an 8.75 out of 10. And once again, thank you and look forward to my next installment of Great Teacher Jamo and my next review, Garo Makainohana. And that will be my last review for Garo until the conclusion of the anime version, Hono no um, Tokuin. And after that, look forward to some anime reviews. Alright, thank you for watching, and um, look forward to my upcoming videos as I've announced. Okay, that's all.